day investors this is your number one able of victoria vcrest properties this is vcrest real estate talk i hope you enjoyed last week's episode which we ended so today we'll be treating a new topic and guess what the topic is so i would like you to please sit down and watch this video to the end so today i'll be treating on a new topic the impact of russia ukraine war on nigeria real estate Ooh, some people will say vcrest <laughs> what are you talking about so russia ukraine war how does this affect nigeria real estate okay that's why i would love you to please sit down you can grab your coffee your tea your children depending on your weather and carefully watch this video to the end so you see how russia and ukraine war affects or impacts on a nigeria real estate the impact of russia ukraine war on nigeria real estate we say this is episode one okay so the war in ukraine a lot of people will say how does this affect nigeria and how does it affect nigeria real estate nigeria import durain that's wheat that we use in making bread using making pastries cake and so on and so forth nigeria imports this from ukraine that's what 753.59 billion naira within nine months that is between january till september guess what that means it declined from 898.19 billion naira as of 2021 you can see the the difference you can see that the decline the decline means down before the war the wheat was selling for 27,000 naira per 100 kilogram but now it's almost 42,000 naira per on the same 100 kilogram can you see the difference 27,000 naira 42,000 naira can you see the the inflation the the increase in price in a short space of time ukraine supply one third of the way to the world because of the war between uh, russia and ukraine ukraine are being threatened from selling the wheat is very cheap for consumption from ukraine that means the wheat we get from ukraine is very affordable because of their currency so how does this affect us now nigeria is affected because we get this we get this wheat or this durian from ukraine because of this war nigeria is now forced to buy from us which is more expensive because of the exchange rates ruby is less expensive unlike dollar that is so high in terms of exchange rates how this russia and ukraine war affects nigeria imagine the wheat we used to buy from ukraine before at a lesser price because of their, their currency ruby which is less expensive unlike dollar that is more expensive because of the high exchange rate you can see how this war affects us here in nigeria this is one point so as we move on you can see more of it and how they are really affecting and how it's affecting our economy how it's affecting nigeria how is going to affect our real estate in nigeria so that's why you need to sit down and watch this video to the end at least i've given you one point and you know this is what we consume you see this which we consume it in different form whether you bread the pastry cake um other things we use it for even in our cooking even in 
the making of food. So that's one part of it, how it affects us here in Nigeria. Russia and Ukraine signed an agreement to sell wheat to other countries with the help of Erdogan, the president of Turkey, till July this year. Russia, that is Putin, the president of Russia, is angry. He's not ready to renew the agreements of selling the wheat to other countries. He's not ready to um, renew the agreements. He's angry because of the threat of the Western. Secondly, it affects the oil. It jumped from 76 to 130 dollar as of March this year because of the war going on in Ukraine and Russia. Because once the war is still going on, there's going to be increase in crude exports. There's an increase in export revenue because we don't refine in Nigeria, we refine in Russia, we refine in Brazil. You can see how the war is affecting us. Where we refine our crude war is ongoing right there. We generate diesel from crude that we take to Russia to refine. Since the war started, it has increased. It was 288,000 Naira as of December last year. But now, it's almost 1,000 Naira because of the war. It will reflect on our aviation for because that's what we use for our aviation. It's going to affect our ticket for traveling. Imagine the amounts you used to buy tickets last year and this year. You can see the difference, the, the, the hike in price. It has seriously affected the price of our tickets, our traveling tickets here in Nigeria. So you can see how this war in Russia and Ukraine is affecting us here in Nigeria. We might say Ukraine is far from us, but we do business with them. We transact with them. Like I mentioned, some of the goods we get them from there. Like I mentioned, wheat, now oil that we convert into um, a crude, into diesel. So you can see that this is really affecting us right here in Nigeria and affecting our economy. That's why you can see inflation. Not just aviation alone, it's going to affect truck. The airline, the truck are the best transportation that we use in loading goods like building materials, food items, and many others. Uh, building materials, uh, food items, loading uh, many other things. And this is going to cause high price in building materials. The same three bedroom duplex you could get as of two, three years ago for 40, 45 million naira. At, as at now, the least you can get now is 55 million naira. Can you see the difference? The truck we use in loading building materials, they have to get the diesel, they have to get the oil. And they are, they are, not, they are buying it expensively too. It will affect every other thing. It will affect the building materials are used in building houses. It is when you eat, you think of buying a house. The real estate is going to have a slow growth. There's going to be a slow growth as a result of the economy. Next is fertilizer. You know, first I mentioned wheat. Second, I mentioned oil. Now, we're going to talk about fertilizer manure that we use in growing our plants in growing our crops russia and ukraine have one of the best fertilizer in the world and nigeria gets the fertilizer from there too since the war started price for raw material fertilizer that makes up crop nutrients like nitrogen ammonia phosphorus and uh, sulfurous has risen by 30 percent formerly the average for 50 kg bag mpk mpk is uh, the name for the fertilizer 
are surged from 8,000 Naira as of last year to 25,000 Naira as at now. If this surge more than this, the price of food is going to go a wire. If this war continues, we are going to see more spike in building materials and the cost of living. You're watching this video for the first time. This is Victoria of VSE Vcrest Properties. Yeah, this is Vcrest Real Estate Talk. Yes, the topic of today uh, is the impact of Russia Ukraine war on Nigeria real estate. Episode one. I hope you'll be enjoying this topic, the points that I'll be given. So please don't forget to hit the subscription button of this YouTube channel to subscribe so you always be notified every of our latest updates, every of our latest notification. Thank you, your returning subscriber. Thank you for always watching our videos. Please don't forget to like, click the like buttons, a comment, and please also share with your friends and family as I continue on this topic, the impact of russia ukraine war on nigeria really estate i hope you'll be enjoying every point i'll be given to see how the war in russia and ukraine is affecting nigeria not just nigeria alone and also nigeria real estate and it's going to affect the demand for real estate now it's going to get worse because Putin, the president of Russia, and Zelensky, the president of Ukraine, are not ready to back down this war. And this is causing a lot of chaos in the world right now. It's affecting the world. It's affecting Nigeria. And so the world inflation is going to continue as the war continues because it's a global problem it's a global problem if you are expecting the price of things to go down you must be a delusional that means you are dreaming our uh, president Tinubu defeated because of the removal of subsidy that's why the um, the gas price that's the the foil price is expensive what people don't know is OPEC that dictates the price of oil, not Tinubu or Buhari. Since the war and the war is still on, they need it more than we because that's what they use in fighting their war. So that's why you can see the price of oil here in Nigeria is expensive. Not only in Nigeria alone, even in the Western like those of you in diaspora watching me right now you know how much you used to buy diesel how much you used to buy your gas before now and how much is selling right now as at last year how much you were buying gas and how much you are buying now so it's not just nigeria alone it's global it's a global issue so you can see how this war is really impacting on us and the more the war is going on the more the war continues the more the prices of things tends to shoot up the more so that is why whatever you want to do now whatever you're buying now is why you need to buy them your land your house right now before prices shoot more than it is now you can see even land prices you can see online right now you can see online right now prices of houses of land are increasing they are increasing take for instance land before you can get 1 million 1.5 in a bear in the lucky right now they are skyrocketing, they are shooting up 2 million, 2 point something, 3 million, even more. This is the time to buy because they are going to increase the more. 
the more the prices of things increase, the more the, the price of real estate increases as well. Take for instance the development fee, the development in the estate, if you are buying land, the, because of the, the, the hike in price in oil, the the developers will still also increase that development fee because they have to buy building materials that they need to build their perimeter fence, gate house, road and all of that. So you before you know the the, the change if you were paying five hundred thousand naira, one million naira before for development fee, before you know it, they will start changing the price or they'll tell you um when uh, the estate is fully developed or they will tell you um later on a uh, development fee will determine do you know what that means you will pay more depending on the period of the time de depending on the period they want to start their development even if it's in the next two three or how many years time of that time can you see why you need to take advantage now buying when it's affordable that is a developing location it's not yet developed it's a developing location where you tend to make more profits imagine in the next 5 10 15 20 years how much this land will be selling when they are fully 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 developed so take advantage of any of it you want house that you want to buy and build immediately we have them they are still affordable whatever size you want you want the one you want to buy and keep in the next few years for investment purpose you still have them as well or you want a house that you want to buy and move in immediately we have them or you want the one you buy and be paying bit by bit as they are building that you are not going to move in so soon we still have them as well or you want the one you want to buy and put it out for short let or you want to buy put it out for rent we still have them as well for investment purpose so that's why you need to take advantage right now that's why i'm calling on you you Nigerians in diaspora, this is a wake up call for you to come back home and invest. You can buy here in Lagos, you can buy in any part of Nigeria. We have in Abuja, we have in Ibado, we have in, in the East, we have in Edo State, we have any part of Nigeria you want. So, don't sleep on it, take advantage. Take advantage now that you can still get them at affordable price for those who think they don't want to come back to nigeria anymore oh nigeria i'm done with nigeria i'm not i don't have anything to do with nigeria i don't want anything hey whether you want to come to nigeria you don't want to come to nigeria you can buy for you can buy for investment purpose as well if you don't want to come to nigeria you can buy for investment purpose there are some Nigerians in diaspora that are making their money here in Nigeria and they are right there in diaspora. Yes. Right here in Lagos, especially here in Lekki, Lagos, Nigeria, there are some, can I say, majority or most of the houses here in Lekki, in Lagos, in Nigeria, are owned by Nigerians in diaspora. They are owned by Nigerians in diaspora. They are making their money here and they are in, in diaspora some own one two or more houses yes not just in lagos alone not just in lekki alone in mainland in lagos mainland some in other parts of nigeria in um, Deta, in edo in enugu in oweri in anambra in abuja in ibadan anywhere so you can see it's not just only you coming here to stay. You can also for investment purpose. Yeah. Yes. So, I think with these few points of mine, I'll be able to convince you and not to confuse you. Yes.
thank you for watching this video your first time subscriber this is victoria of yasui big crest properties this is big crest real estate talk i just finished talking on the topic the impact of Russia and ukraine war on nigeria real estate episode one so not just that alone you want to buy land you want to buy genuine land you want to buy a, a luxury home affordable luxury home yes we are here to help you uh, do that we also help you invest wisely big crest properties uh, we help you do that so you can contact us here on big crest uh, properties or victoria or Vyasi. these two channels so thank you please don't forget to click on the subscription button of this YouTube channel to subscribe so you always be notified every of our latest updates, every of our latest notification. Your returning subscriber, thank you for always watching our videos. Like our page, comment. But please, there are some of you, you have been watching this video, you'll be following our video, but you have not subscribed. Please, please encourage us by clicking smashing that subscription button so subscribe subscribe please subscribe and also share with your friends and family thank you for watching and do have a wonderful sunday and a blessed week ahead thank you